Lenten devotional on this Holy Week. Today is Good Friday. It's entitled, Above It All, by Vince Amlin. And it's taken from John chapter 19, verses 28 through 30, which says, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. And when Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head And he gave up his spirit. So Vince writes, In a small museum in Assisi hangs a crucifix from 1236 by Guinta Pisano. My guide had told me to look for it because it's famous for being the first in Western Christianity to show Christ suffering on the cross. Wow, in the year 1236. Images of Jesus in agony were well known in the East, but in this place, and before 1236, Roman Christians looked at the cross and found a triumphant Savior staring back at them. You know, usually I downplay John's version of the crucifixion. And if you never notice, it's the one where Jesus is in charge. He gets to declare when things are finished. Pau, kaput, nada. No one takes his spirit. He gives it up. Sure. He drinks that sour wine or vinegar, whatever you call it, but only to fulfill the scripture. It's a small, little, inhumane thing that, that, that gets to my na'au. It gets to me. I miss the crying out, my God, why have you forsaken me? What a phrase to say, what a question to ask. And instead, John gives me the God of the universe in his gospel, in control, even on the cross. And this year, I am grateful for it. Usually I want a Jesus I can relate to, but today I take comfort in a Christ who is above all of this who is invulnerable to the empire and unimpressed by human power, who won't give the violent, hateful ones a satisfaction by raising his voice, who is already looking towards the gates of hell, ready for their destruction. Today is Good Friday. I am looking up into the eyes of the triumphant one, as I pray. O divine one, let Christ be my strength today, tomorrow, and for eternity. Amen.